restarted both machines. Let it sit for a couple of minutes before I went live again. Not hearing not hearing the popping anymore. Sit here for another minute or so. Let me, let me switch the other monitor. PC. Alright, I think we're good, at least for now. Hopefully it won't happen again. I was wondering, why peacocks? My... My daughter is rather daughter. fond of them. There will be a treat for her. We're close. Eyes in the back of your head. There they are. Arr, arr. Odorous. A feather from the rump, coated in suet. Cock shed it recently, and the suet's got a distinct scent. Ought to be able to track the flock. A witcher in action. <coughs> a treat to watch. Same one. Each other. Fabulous. We're getting Get close. Ahead. A whole bunch of them up there. <laughs> do we have to have three open at once? Oh, yeah, I guess we do.
Uh -oh. Giant Damn it. Where did they come from? Must have followed us. Get back. Is it even gonna be in the bestiary? I don't think it is. Let's see. I have to fight the thing. I haven't fought one yet, so we don't know how to kill it. <clears throat> ah! Geralt! Oh, save to. me! Tense. Uh, I believe oh, nice I've had my mutants. fill of excitement for today. Not what bad. a wonderful adventure. Get everything you wanted? Yes. In that case, time to get back to your camp. <laughs> get that box off your head, mister. <laughs> Returning your lord to you, safe and sound. You've our gratitude, master. You see, lads, there was nothing to fear. Thank you, Witcher, for looking after our day count. Seems the jaunt did him wonders. Breathed some new life into him. Wait here a moment, Geralt. I have to fetch my coin pouch. Pay my dues. Just minimize that. New life? He was feeling down? Made no mention, did he? Ten years back, his last Clarice is her name. Took a spill off her horse. Been bedridden ever since. Cannot walk of her own. Oh. She'd been the life of the house before the calamity. A merry sprite what filled every corner with joy. Count would oft take her out on trips. She loved animals too. Excursions he makes now. Or rather, paintings he brings home. There's her only window on the wider world. Sorry to make you wait. I was dead chuffed to be able to observe you in action. To confirm for myself there that the tales about you were not exaggerated in the slightest. You show discipline, reliability, responsibility. <laughs> I dare say you'd make the ideal business associate. That's a shame you've no interest in the uh, wine trade. But sir, I have a One house. Day, maybe. Your reward. Have been here. Well. Thanks. I've one other matter I wish to broach. In a few days' time, I shall exhibit my work for some friends, my coterie, so to speak. Coterie. Would you come by? Sure. Why not? If I'm in the area. Splendid. In that case, I shall see you at my lodgings. I'm staying with a friend while in <clears throat> Tucson, near a village named Frankola. I'll be by. See ya. All right, let's see. Where is I think there is there a fast travel nearby? There. It also hop up here. Oh, we're in the vicinity. This village. Get a fast travel. Maybe get another contract or two. Side mission. Is it true peasants got carve his cows himself nowadays? And
Stone Rubello. All right, get the Lamet, my friend. It's common All knowledge. Is in order. Pompino Nero yields the best sweet bread. Pompino, use your spoon. Load this board. All right, looks like one contract. Notices, Beauclair Oak Lumber for sale. Looking to buy some Beauclair Oak and don't mind if the paperwork's not all in order. <laughs> it can help out. Ask for Felipe or Philippa at the Row Cans logging outpost. Wine or poison? A friend of mine had some quote unquote wine from the Coronado Vineyard. Afterwards, his stomach ached for the day, and he puked like some rainbow spewing fountain. Spewing fountain. Inevitable question. Inevitable questions got to be posed. Did Coronado wine bottles be labeled wine or poison, which will make you die slow and painful death? Concerned friend. Warning. It is well known the scallywags at Coronado have been underpricing their plunk for years, leading to the bankruptcy of many a small vineyard. But now they've truly gone to botching far. They brought buckets of vine-devouring vine caterpillars to Vermentino. You'll get your comeuppance, rat diddlers. Beware of monsters. Monsters known as bar guests have been spotted near the cemetery. All vineyard workers are thus advised to depart for home before dusk, preferably in groups. It is also recommended they choose routes which bypass the cemetery. Failure to adhere to these safety precautions could lead to serious consequences, including but not limited to mental trauma, crippling injury, and being torn apart and devoured. Caution, Knights Errant. Virtuous Knights Errant, I respect you as much as anyone in Toussaint, but please stop attacking windmills. They haven't wronged you in any way, and because of your shenanigans, our maintenance expenses have increased many times over. I warn you, if you don't stop attacking windmills, I will be forced to lodge an official complaint with Her Illustrious Highness. Sincerely, Antoine Liss. Needed Master Magicker. Need a hard hineyed man who won't spill his sphincter at the sight of sorcery and can give a witch a good fucking hiding if it comes to it. You'll find me chopping wood near Fox Hollow. My name's Jacob. Chopping wood's what I do. All your poop for brain fuckers who think you're jesters, I'm warning you, jesting's over. Jacob Woodcutter of Fox Hollow. Poster. Wanted murderous Vandegilders, Antoine Starling Stragon, Loth, alias Halfbreed. We saw him before. Philibert Fourfingers, unwitting. Diddly snips! My back aches something horrid! Let's see, where are we going for the picnic? Nice tribal down there. Not. Wow, we don't even have one that's close. Browsers. Let's see. Cooper's Gate, I guess. Holy shit. That is a long way away. So, guess what we'll do? Get the notices off that board on the way down there. Everything 
up top it all east. Ooh, potentially three contracts or missions. Contract. Grand ooh, Grand Master Armor, you have my interest. Master Armor in Beauclair seeks brave man to help recover long lost diagrams. Contract is highly dangerous. As such, will be lucratively ordered. Fisticuffs. Uh oh, we got more fist fighting tournaments. Hey, tough guy. Smackdown, brother in law, and now you're feeling invincible? Neighbors step aside when they see you coming? Got violence in your heart? Perhaps it is high time you fought the title of Brawl Master of Beauclair. Defeat three champions, and you'll get the honor of facing the Maestro himself. See more information from bookies in San Sebastian and by the docks. Armed escort wanted. We wish to hire a person or persons with good weapon skills who, for a reasonable fee, will escort us into Alberta's cavern for exploratory purposes. The knights errant claim, excuse me, the cave harbors no dangers, so we don't expect trouble, but better safe than sorry. Augusta, Lucian, and Hugo Monart. Test yourself with the trials of the virtues. Dear reader, years pass and times change, yet all that is good and beautiful still requires a defender. Come to the isle on Loch Calve, Calave, Salave, however, and test the rightness of your character during the trials. Yes, you shall receive a reward. It's a gold. The gold stamp. Contract. Quarreling at the cemetery. No one from our from our residences committee seems to think it's their think it is in Jesus to think it is their responsibility. I'll write it myself. Cannot go on. An infernal racket coming from the cemetery, giving us mad, and no one is doing anything about it. I know we all hear it. Damn bouquet. It, it, it keeps her awake at all night long, and she lives farther away from the cemetery than any of us. There is any witcher who can put an end to all the screaming, brawling, and insults. I'll pay him for my own pouch. Ask them to point out Carlos Lanzano over clogs. That'll be me. Wanted. Discreet specialist. Wanted professional to investigate mystery concerning Reginald the Aubrey's statue. Permanence, indomitable work ethic, absolute discretion and refinement in supernatural situations. Desirable, accurate presentation, aesthetic sensitivity, and knowledge of modern sculpture. Details, please send Rolanda, a flak Pfizer, curator of art and collectibles. Flak Salavi. Might oh, be sorry. worth looking into. Salavi. Just a few more legends. Ooh. And I shall Goodness so gracious, nice great team. balls of granite. Well, I am from Poopo East. It's wondrous flavor. <laughs> well, I am from Poopo. A witcher. <gasps> a witcher. Master, 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 master. Jesus, where the hell are those plants? Alright. Just be looking for... This is a fury. I mean, we don't have a lot of choice. We gotta hoof it, literally. Disperse! The exhibition of the Reginald Dobry Monument will remain closed <coughs> until further notice. I uh, closed? I simply Why, we wrote... Please disperse! The exhibition is closed! What's this about? 
Oh, Lapiota, give me strength. I can't bear this, please! I believe I've been clear. No presentation today. Oh, wait! Are you not that famous witch of Geralt of Rivia? I believe I have work for you. Saw your notice. Mentioned a monument. The matter is a delicate one, but mind you, I pay well. Unless I can say no more at this stage. Interested? <clears throat> the statue. Just tell me, what's the problem? A picture's worth a thousand words. More, I dare say. Come with me. I'll show you. Here it is! Our pride and joy, Reginald Daubry. A giant among lovers. A poking, puncturing swordsman, and atop all that, an unrifled titler of harps and other organs. <clears throat> so what's wrong with it? How should I put this? <laughs> it's lost Whoa! Its Hello! Somebody stole the testicles. Off a statue. <laughs> no ordinary statue, mind you. The sole monument made using a cast of the great Reginald's own genitals. Certified and authenticated. Sprung directly from his loins, they grant all who stroke them unparalleled virility. <laughs> all who buy a ticket, that is. Thus, you must retrieve those stones. The stones made of stone. <clears throat> Got my attention. Now tell me about this Reginald, all you know. There's so much to tell. Legend has it he and the architect Faramont planned and laid out Beauclair. Hmm. Impressed already. In particular, Reginald took great pains to devise escape routes for lovers caught with their pants down. Literally and metaphorically. He later made frequent use of them himself. Not out of fear, mind you, but to avoid having to kill his rifles in duels. Any idea when the theft took place? It must have been mere hours ago. I guided the last group through the exposition quite recently. Stones were very much in place. Got any suspects? Considering the vast potency of Reginald's prized pouch, everyone's a suspect. Who would not want it for himself? Need to look around. Might find a clue or two. Do what you must, as long as you return grasping Reginald's stones. Without them, Beauclair's entire tourist sector faces trying times. Trying times. It all work out. It must. Saw marks are straight and clean. Precision castration, I'd call this. Don't worry, Reginald, don't worry. You shall be whole again soon. It will all work out. It must. Piece of coat fabric caught on the nail. Heavy on cologne. Smell it'll lead me to the thief. Diamond saw blade. Perpetrator's tool. Don't worry, Reginald. Don't worry. The guard brings peace to our domains. Flout its writ and rot in chains. Damn. Patrolling on an empty stomach. This person even in Toussaint? Sand leads to this door. <laughs> Having a little fun in there? Oh. <laughs> 
Sorry to interrupt, I guess. This, this is not what it seems. <laughs> Word of honor. I, I, I tripped, rolled, tumbled, and landed where she already lay. Psst! Shoes! That's not him! I, I swear, this is all an unfortunate coincidence. A series thereof. What? <sighs> That's not my husband. You mean, not... Not your husband? Who are you? And why are you in my home? Out! Now! Or I'll summon the guards! Calm down. Just here to talk. I... Uh, I believe we have nothing to talk about. Oh, we do. We do. Just to kick things off, you're in great form for a man your age. <clears throat> I eat well, start the day with a glass of wine. That preserves a body wonderfully. Interesting. Might try it. Say, ever heard of Reginald Dobry, his statue? <laughs> Everyone in the city's heard of it. Reginald's a paragon, a national hero. Cut the bullshit, Hughes. You stole Reginald's testicles. Know that already. I... Uh, I can explain everything. Um, this... Rosalinda! I know you're in there! You and that fancy pants of yours! Oh no, not him too. This really is not my day. Got you, you rogue! Prepare for a shelikin, skeleton. What the love's this?! Rosalinta! One, I could forgive you, but two at <laughs> one time! Wait, got nothing to do with this. <sighs> Take me for a fool! I'll teach you to fish in another man's pond! <sighs> got no time for this. Go home. Axie for the win. Yes. That'll be best. I, I'm done here. I don't know you, but that would have gone horribly for me had you not intervened. I thank you for saving my skin. Mm hmm So, time to talk. <sighs> Rosalinda, my dove, please allow us a moment. All right. I admit I stole the stones, and you will never believe it, but they work. Today, Rosalinda and <laughs> Three I times and counting. Three times and counting. Viagra. Three times. Impressive. <clears throat> Isn't it? At my age. That's more than the entire last decade. All the same, you stole those stones and I you got to return them. don't have them anymore. Listen, perhaps we might strike a deal, hmm? Let me keep the stones. I'll pay you. Grant me this, I beg you. They... they've made me young again. Mm, yes, no, or maybe. No chance. Need to take the stones, pure and simple. But if you were to leave them with me for, for a day or two, uh, three at the most. Shit out of luck. Sorry. Oh, SOL, buddy. At the day's end, it's good I had a chance to use them at all. Here, take them. Thanks. And good luck. Actually think you'll do just fine without them. for some long-term benefit that was probably the wrong choice i mean who knows hey battle pants what's going on how are you going good oh good i actually had to restart the stream i was getting some crackling sounds 
that at first, so I had to reboot the PCs. Get that fixed. They seem to be... Seem to be gone. Yes, it is. It is very much Friday. Was it you that I saw had mentioned you've got a month off now? Vacation or time off or something? Well... Have you recovered Reginald's family jewels? Yep, got them back. Let me out the slashes, <coughs> lips, it's them! It's really them! I hope this modest reward nonetheless conveys the extent of my gratitude. And look in on us nice, tomorrow I'm for jealous. the grand reopening. <laughs> you shall stroke Reginald at no charge on the house. Stroke Reginald. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Are they back yet? Nope. Oh, is he going to put them back? Oh, pounding on the privates. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Ooh. Let's see. Yeah, Fists of Fury. That one later. This one here. Started that one. Can't do finish it just yet. I'm gonna do So we're gonna do the um night is it it's a night there. No, it's not that it was It. Oh, it was was it a contract? Yeah, contract. Duh. All right, so we have to get on horseback and ride. Got to get down there. We don't have any. We don't have any fast travel spots between those two places yet, unless there's one there. So we're gonna go through there. See if there is one. Where are you skittering off to, Sylvia? Oh, uh, if I weren't just a lowly guardsman. Take it easy. Oh, guard me. Right, so maybe there's not a fast travel over here.
Go, go. Guys are partiers if they're still up at four o'clock in the morning. Seen smaller places with a marker. Can't believe it. I simply can't. Total up, no contracts on here. Guide wanted. Hopefully that music's not too loud in the background. In my capacity as a scholar at the Imperial Academy, I have spent the better part of the last two decades studying ancient elven culture. My most recent research bears the working title, The Influence of Ancient Elven Architecture on Human Structures. I am aware that Carolina Woods have been classified as extremely dangerous by the Ducal Guard, true scholar, the quest for knowledge is what matters most, more than even life itself. When I seek a local hunter or knight to be my guide and guard. So there's only, respectfully, Johan Eskins. My bees. Beekeeper, that is to say, I was. Last year, a mysterious plague wiped out all the bees in my hives, and I wouldn't stoop to steal a wild ones. For sale, I'll gladly buy them. Out of the lock. Yes. See ghosts. Looking for others who, like me, have encountered a strange presence in the Carabird Woods. I would like to discuss what we have experienced. Dagobert. Squire wanted. I seek a clever lad. Poor with horses. Squire as an experienced knight. However, I take on a fantastic opportunity to learn not just the knightly arts, but also impeccable manners in the ways of high society. Gabriel de Pasternak. Announcement from the Ducal Guard. Due to the knight's tourney currently being held, it is kindly requested. Travelers do not provoke a knight's errand nor challenge them to any duel. <coughs> non adherents will be penalized. Deputy Commander of the Duke Guard, Horas de Funes. De Funier, maybe? Hortense Vineyard. Vineyard closed until further notice. During an attack, my hideous creatures resembling overgrown insects. The owner of Hortense Vineyard has sustained serious injuries. As the threat is still present, Hortense Vineyard will be closed until further notice. Let's grab a save. We'll meditate, which we haven't done, so we'll get our grenades and whatnot back. Rooster.
Yes. Yes. No and a panther. Is seen here, proudly displaying its remarkable chitin and calcium carbonate properties. It's one to talk to the subject of the land here, sir. Such an opportunity. Enjoy the exhibit. Excuse you. The peacocks and the centipede. Both male and female Beauclair centipedes are formidable predators. The bees prefer to hunt in packs, yet the author of this extraordinary work was able to capture a lone specimen preparing to attack. <coughs> Cast your eye on the hunter, who, though fully aware of the danger, wears a look of cold determination on his face as he awaits the optimal moment to strike. <coughs> ah, Geralt, you're here. Wonderful. Come, please. Wunderbar. I'm delighted to see you. I have a small gift for you, and I shan't let you refuse. You are free to sell it, of course. Though I would be honored were you to hang it in your home. Absolutely. Thanks. Good crowd. You got a lot of friends. All of them seem to be fawning over your paintings, too. Oh, when you have as much coin as I do, friends buzz around like flies on fresh meat. And they praise you to high heavens for each trip, burp, and sneeze. Not all are lying sycophants, that's not what I mean. Just most, unfortunately. Oh, the red car back there. there. Why even invite them around? I'm a man of enterprise. Put my trade before any personal hatreds or sympathies. Besides, besides, at times I'll exhibit a completely failed painting just to listen to them twist their tongues into knots, trying to find <laughs> just the right superlatives to lather on smeared rubbish. Naturally, the more intense. All right, see you later, Battle Pants. Thanks for coming graces, out. Have a good the night. The louder they praise my masterpiece, <laughs> it's devilish fun, I tell you. <laughs> Devilish Talked to your guards back at the camp. Told me about Clarissa. Sorry to hear about her accident. Thank you. Kind words that mean a great deal to me. How's Clarissa these days? Probably can't wait for you to get back. <laughs> to get her gifts, you mean? I've dispatched two already. She'll not need to wait for my return. En route home, I mean to pass through Dolblathana. They say one can see Sylvan's there. Yeah, actually happened to know one. Name's Torque. He can be mean, but for the right fee, he'll do anything you ask. Splendid. I thank you for the hint. Tell him I send my regards. Nice meeting you. So long now. Not a bad dude. So we got a painting for the house. Let's see what the sign says. Scarlet Cardinal Man. Man, that music is loud. Oof -da. Yes. Ah, oh, there we go. All right. Oh, nice. Frankel Arts. The Caraberta Woods are named after Toussaint's reigning Duchess's grandmother. Just Carolina Roberta, who loved organizing elaborate games of hide-and-seek in this forest. A small trapper's post, located on its outskirts, has grown into the tranquil village known as the Frankel Arts. Here, hunters, woodcutters, and beekeepers come to sell the fruit of the woods. The village springs to life once a year when Baron Trustamara organizes his annual wood festival and invites all the court 
out for a spectacular hunt. Alright, let's see what else we got here. Is the, um... Alright, so no Witcher contracts here yet, right now anyway. All secondary stuff. Just like home. Night for hire. Let's see, what's the lowest... Those don't have a level on them yet. What level are we? 40. Let's actually go talk to this guy. Because we're probably getting pretty close to... I don't know how useful... Well, I don't want to say useful, but... We've had our armor... quite some time. set bonuses by upgrading it to Grandmaster level. It's up there. Ah, uh, let's go down here. Matina Gate. Banquets and wine are rather suited for something which Ark Beauclerc better to die. Our most gracious Duchess has hired a witcher to get at the root <coughs> of these murders. Every resident of our fair town is hereby required to aid the witcher in any way he requests. Sir Knight, beware of head crumbs. Removing your helmet once daily helps prevent <laughs> ailments of the skull. They say My the diamond at the port has such extraordinary new colors. Of Some of the bells charge him less if he dyes their skirts. Art Beauclerc. The Greetings. A witcher from the school of the wolf here in Tucson. Greetings. I'm Lazar Lafarge. Geralt of Rivia. Jerry of Riviera. Got a job for me? Brother, mind you, it's no monster hunt, but I'm sure you'll be interested all the same. I'm an armorer, see, and I for years sought diagrams for witcher armor of exceptional quality, Grandmaster level. Heard of them. Never seen any, though. Thought they were lost. Not quite, for I've been lucky enough to learn that their holders came to Tucson. Alas, they then perished, but I know where. I just need a partner to help me retrieve them. If you know where to look, why not get them yourself? Dangerous. No offense, but do I look like a rough-hewn adventurer? Besides, who would serve my clients while I romped about seeking them? No, I'd rather leave it to someone familiar with such matters. Bring me the diagrams, and from them, I'll forge for you whatever you fancy. What do you have on offer? Oh, wow, 110. It weighs less. What Roach currently has. Oh, what is this? Oh, really? Mixing eyes. 91. Things we've 
Isis. Let's see what we could grab. Grab some repair kits. Repair generally. Let's see, get anything repaired. All these diagrams somehow wound up in Tusa. How is that even possible? Tusa was once home to Tien Sail, a legendary and now deceased elfin master armorer. Witches from all corners of the world came to him to forge their plate, their mail. Heard about him. Supposed to have been the best. And thus he charged the king's ransom for his work. Great. Witches would take difficult, dangerous work to earn the coin to pay him. Mm -hmm. Some, alas, met with misfortune, and the diagrams they carried were left to rot with their earthly remains. Got it. Find them, find the diagrams. But how can I know where to look for their remains? As it happens, I learned my trade at Jensai's side. So I heard the stories of the missing witches first had. What he told me, well, that is what discouraged me from seeking the diagrams out myself. We must strike a deal. <clears throat> I shall tell you all I know. In return, once you found the diagrams, you will let me draft a copy. This elven master, how'd he end up taking a human for an apprentice? My father forged armor. As a youngster, I helped him, then began forging my own pieces. Master Tien Sail saw my work and offered to take me on as his apprentice. Only now, years on, do I realize the honor that was. Alas, my master perished in a massacre later, slain by racists. Though he taught me everything he knew, I did not manage to complete the guild's requirements for Grand Master while he lived. I know I have no equal in the trade. Yet, uh, until I complete Witcher armor of Grand Master quality, I shall never be certain I've become my teacher's equal. Where do I look for these diagrams? I know of five likely fallen witches, each from a different school of the wolf, griffin, Manticore. cat, bear, and manticore. <clears throat> Which should I start with? Tell me about the cat. That's what I got. Let's talk about the cat. A year ago, Bartolome de Lorne, the ducal armorer, asked me to confirm the authenticity of a Witcher diagram he had received by messenger. You see, at the time he was working on new armor for the Ducal Guard. A Witcher from the School of the Cat offered to sell him diagrams for a full set of gear. The diagrams would have been helpful indeed. The diagram you saw, was it really a Witcher diagram? Beyond any doubt. It's a shame Delaunay didn't let me draft a copy. He was quite shaken up, afraid the Witcher might simply kill him and take his coin. Possibly a well-founded fear. Soon after, Delaunay disappeared without a trace. <laughs> I would have searched his former home for clues, but it has fallen into disrepair, and it is simply too dangerous there. Tell me about my brother, the wolf. His name was Atom. I remember him well. My master liked him, helped him find a safe, yet well-paid contract. A few years ago, an archaeological expedition arrived in Tucson from Castel Gropia. They questioned my master about the elfin ruins at Termes. He warned them of the danger there, and recommended they take Aton as an escort. What kind of danger did he mean? Any idea? Legend claims wraiths haunt the chambers beneath Termas. I 
cannot say if there is any truth to this, but uh, both the scholars and the Witcher disappeared without a trace. Some pretty significant thunder going on. The outside. Griffin. What can you tell me about him? He came some 200 years ago, but my master remembered him well. This Witcher was not stripped of emotions, you see, as his colleagues were. He had taken on a contract at Fort Usa and required better gear. He showed my master his diagrams, paid a deposit, and was never seen again. Apparently, he rode off one night from the fort, never to return. Any idea where he went? No. It said he left in a rush, so he may have left something behind. Only ruins remain of Fort Usa, but you may wish to search them. Tell me more about the bear, can you? He appeared shortly after Master Tien Sail took me on as his apprentice. I remember the bear-head medallion that hung from his neck. I remember a towering witcher who haggled like a fishwife. <laughs> Witchers never have too much coin. <laughs> True. This one clearly <clears throat> was not wealthy. But he pledged to bring us coin after he completed a contract at the Tufo Vineyard, where a building had just collapsed. Time passed, the bear never showed, and my master sent me to the Tufo estate. As it turned out, the Witcher had indeed accepted a job. Yet that was all they heard of him, and that is all I know. School of the Manticore. Probably know the least about it, though mm -hmm. once, long ago, wore some armor forged there. My master said the Manticores have their fortress in the Far East. A century passed, one of their number came to him, a witcher named Merton. He made a poor impression on my master. He stank like a dwarf and still, and uh, quarreled fiercely all the time. Tien Sahil slammed the door in his face and told him to return when he sobered up. He would conduct no business with a drunk. The Witcher, however, failed to return. Folk say he got into a booze-fueled brawl with the Ducal Guard. He was arrested and sentenced. Bastoy Prison, where he was held, well, it's been a ruin for years. Still, you may want to start your search there. Farewell. Good luck on the path. Luck on the path. Yeah, so we're not... We're definitely looking for the cat. For sure. what he's got and you typically need the old the old pieces to upgrade to the new pieces so don't have any of the other stuff holy crap damn long way away holy bejeebers all right let's we'll do let's do this um let's see what time is it we started at four, it's almost six. So what we'll do is we'll go up here. I assume all of the pieces are gonna be up there. Don't know that for sure. Uh, we'll get those. Then we'll probably take a break at that point. Give me something to give me a chance to get something to eat. Then we'll do some story stuff, story missions. In the north, you will find a solid air. It's good. The bellies are pinched as a tent of all folk. Don't you press the line? All right, let's so see where's the nearest fast travel from where we are. Over there. Look 
guard brings peace to our domains. Oh, so manly. So handsome. Wow, we got question marks now. <laughs> oh my god. Discover location. All over the place. Grandmaster Griffin gear. Well, it looks like if... I'm getting the vibe that it, all the pieces... for each set can be found at one location, unlike the main game. And be scattered. the map. Plus we'd be able to pick up some new locations and stuff on the way. Run, road. <coughs> Oh my god, are you kidding me? I have to get rid of all of these? Do they flap after a moment? Yowzers.
Alright, fruit doesn't play good. Consumables. Brown die. Dead. Just dead. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead, Jim. <clears throat> for a few feet around. A lot of it. Alright, so where the hell is the treasure? Itself didn't kill him. Bled to death afterwards. Ah, here. Die remover. Orders on elegant stationery. Hmm. What have we got here? <clears throat> no chance this letter wound up here by accident. They owe me this time, and I'll skin that splotchy hide off your rump. Pick up the next batch of seedlings tomorrow. Peshamutna hatchery. We would need to infect another spot at Coronada. We late because the team from the vineyard on the other side of the river has got the key. The V is. abandoned, but a lot of this damage is recent. Guess I arrived just a little too late. Should look around still. Griffin? Beware the white terror danger zone. Says great white terror on the contract. Could be the same damn beast as in the notice, though. Man, bled to death. Big beast inflicted these wounds. Clear from the claw marks. Must have a toothy smile, too, judging by what ripped his throat open. variety. <clears throat> Monster attack was recent. Signs of a fight. Paw prints, beastly ones, that's clear. Just on this spot, though. Hmm. Aerial attack. Must have been. 
Draconid. Gotta be. Maybe a basilisk? Except these prints don't belong to any variety I know. Just a little different. Hey. <clears throat> Who might you be, sir? Area's dangerous. I'd say there's a basilisk nesting around here. You'd be wise to remain at some distance. Yes, I'm familiar with the matter. And quite proud to say a basilisk does Excuse nest me? here. I look after it personally. <clears throat> look after it? It's not exactly a pet. Beasts murdering folk who come through here. Just a minute. It does not murder those who do not trespass upon its territory. You post those warnings? Indeed. To prevent anyone from coming to any harm. Well, a lot of good they did. Got a freshly mangled corpse right here. Most likely a merchant, <clears throat> the poor bloke. Just today, I learned two traders had chosen this route despite the signs. I came as quick as I could to warn them. Too late, alas. I've instructed my servants. They shall take the body, return it to the family with a generous sum as recompense. Hmm. Pay the victim's family's compensation? Why? These lands have been my family's for decades, granted to us by Duchess Ademarta. Beyond them, the basilisk ventures not, hunts not, it does not kill or destroy. Provided it is not provoked. Yet if it does destroy, if it kills, I compensate all for the loss from my own coffers. Hmm. Your coffers? Got a store of sons and husbands in there to compensate for those shredded by your beast? Naturally, I cannot revive the dead, but I do make generous restitution to their loved ones. Just last summer, I paid a leather tooler's widow 800 crowns. This unfortunate merchant's family to be duly indemnified as well. <clears throat> Claim this to be the last surviving basilisk? How do you figure? The last of this subspecies. Their population was much larger at one time, see? Before the beech forests were felled. Mean to suggest a direct correlation between beechwood forest density and basilisk populations? Indirect, I prefer to contend. Beechwood forests are the chief habitat of roe deer, you see. In turn, a staple of the basilisk diet. When roe deer grew scarce, basilisks made humans their staple food. Enter the witchers. And thus, we've come to this one last specimen. It's a female. As recently as last year, we still had two. But your cast's mate passed on, alas. Your cast? Your cast? Should she it? not have a name? <clears throat> my father dubbed her in honor of my dear departed mother. Your cast was brooding then. Two eggs that she cast from her nest, alas, when the male perished. Who exactly are you? And how do you develop such an interest in the beast? Count Borges, happy to be of service. As to the beast, well, this subspecies is our dynastic symbol. The Desalfareses have for centuries signed with the Regulus Platinum. As family legend has it, a female of the species rescued an ancestor, a boy at the time, from a burning building. She took the tyke back to her nest, where she fed him as if he were one of her own youngsters. Malarkey. To be sure, but beautiful malarkey it is. <laughs> Where's the basilisk nesting? Any idea? Of course I have an idea. But you don't really expect me to tell you. Those are not toy swords. I know your intentions. Find it myself, then. Easy to track with its distinct paw prints. Mentioned two merchants. So I might also look for the other corpse. Later. Here. Get the armor. Use the diagrams.
must be Delaunay's residence. side. Be able to unlock it on the way out, I assume. This stuff usually works. Harder than I thought he would. Holy shit, really? Wow. Alright, come on, Rose, let's do this again. Run, Roach. I didn't get a checkpoint when I dropped down inside the grounds. So it's kind of dumb. Come on, Ru. 
Ooh. Put your throat thwarted by barrels. residents. Oh, blocked it. soul cannot handle this. It simply cannot. Oh, let Beota's wounds. Calm down. It's over. I thank you, sir. And you must forgive me my momentary loss of composure. Are you in need of accoutrements, monsieur? Is that a merchant? Abandoned. <clears throat> its owner? More its temporary steward. By order of the Treasury Minister, I am to serve as caretaker of Count Deloni's properties and estates. The Count is missing. Yet, no one at the palace warned me. Villafit that is the lair of bandits. That is to say, it was, but is no more. Thanks to your heroism, Monsieur Witcher. Just a second. Looking for scrolls, manuscripts, bearing diagrams of Witcher gear specifically. Any chance you've happened on any? I've not yet managed to inventory the sundries. I arrived just a short while ago. The bandits arrived with their terror. But you may ferret about if you so wish. Thank you. 
<clears throat> what do you have that you're willing to sell? I remove. So long. Ruben. Ruben, some quill pusher from her grease. The dung Kessa's cord has been sniffing around. <clears throat> the evident. Don't reckon I need to explain why I don't like that, eh? Much. Well, <clears throat> you're to find this clerk and kill him. Burn the building. Anyone in there with him? The noose. No raping, no impaling. Keep it simple. Then head back to the Art hatch, art hawk. Ruins quick, excuse me, because I've got another job for you. Hey, Strogan. Where's the front door? No. We'll look through the courtyard here. Loot whatever we need to loot. We'll take a break. Bunch of wine. Here, laying out in the middle of. solution. Cool, cool, cool. It's probably another door to unlock. Have a save. Let's go ahead and mute it. So, yeah, about uh, 10 minutes or so. Let's check the weather outside. Maybe grab something to eat because this is past my normal dinner time. Oh. And give me about uh, 9 10 minutes and we'll continue from here. Sit tight. I will be back shortly.
Welcome back. Oh. Game unmuted. Uh, damn popping is started again. Oh boy. Hmm. Not good. We got that damn warbling sound again. I can hear the warbling, <clears throat> can hear the popping. The game itself is fine. The game itself is not the problem. It's the machine that I'm running running the stream from. It seems to start about close to two hours for whatever reason. I did it earlier today too, so what I'm going to have to do, unfortunately, shut the stream down and restart this machine, this PC. So, I hate to have to do it. <clears throat> I don't have much choice. Otherwise, it's just going to keep getting worse and worse and worse and worse. Like it has okay right before the break, but I guess over the break it... One thing real quick. Oh, that's not it. Yeah, so... Yeah, unfortunately I gotta... <clears throat> I gotta quit, reboot, and restart, so... If I would have known this was going to happen, was going to be this bad when I got back from break, I would have just taken my break and re redone it. <clears throat> but thank you, Drancho. I appreciate it. Yeah. So let me quit, restart. I will be back. Give me about four to five minutes, and we'll continue from here. We'll look for the rest of these diagrams. Get tight. I will be right back. Mm -hmm. 